We have looked at uh, nodal analysis, which is a way of uh, analyzing circuits in general, and it can be scaled to any size of circuits. It's a way of systematically writing down the equations for the circuit, uh, so that it can be solved by matrix inversion. Okay. Now, instead of starting from uh, KCL at the nodes of the circuit, you can also start from KVL around the loops. Now, unlike nodes, loops are ambiguous. That is, you can take the same circuit and come up with two different sets of loops okay or multiple different sets of loops which are all independent but different from one another okay so what we'll be looking at is a particular variant of loop analysis which applies to only a subset of circuits it is not universally applicable to all circuits and that is known as mesh analysis This is basically a variant of uh, loop analysis for what are known as planar circuits. Okay, like I said earlier, let me take the graph of a circuit and show you how one can choose multiple different loops around which to write. Kirchhoff's voltage law. So, let us say this is the graph of a circuit. This means that each of these four points is a node and these branches contain some two terminal elements. Okay. So, now let us say I could choose this loop, that loop and this loop. Alternatively, we could also choose this loop this loop and this entire thing okay so we need to write three loop equations for this circuit these are two possible ways of doing it there are more ways as well okay given this there is a certain ambiguity now this mesh analysis eliminates that ambiguity okay this is only for convenience we can do loop analysis in general for any circuits but uh, for a couple of reasons firstly that nodal analysis is the more preferred one and uh, with all this ambiguity loop analysis looks complicated i will not deal with that i will only talk about mesh analysis okay now what are uh, planar circuits very simply put, they are circuits which can be drawn on a plane, like a piece of paper or the screen that I am drawing on, without crossing branches. Okay. For instance, this particular graph, you see that no two branches are crossing each other. So, this is definitely a planar circuit. Now, the key word here is that uh, circuits which can be drawn this way, not how you choose to draw the circuit. For instance, the classic example is this. Looks like uh, these two branches here are crossing each other, but I do not have to draw it like that. Okay. I could uh, have drawn it that way. So, this is also a planar circuit. Right? But, take this circuit for instance. Now, so far this is uh, planar. Let us say I connect a branch from this node to this node. Okay. You can easily see that however I draw it, it will have to cross another branch. So, this is definitely not planar. So, the mesh analysis I am going to describe will apply only to this type of circuits. Okay. Another way to think about it is that a planar circuit
is like the map of a region, map of a country which can be drawn on the plane and you won't have boundaries crossing each other, right? So, if we have this, this is like a map, let us say this is a country and you can think of it as having three different states and any branch will be common to at most two of these regions okay, or two of these states. Okay. So, a mesh is a loop in a planar circuit which does not enclose any other loops. Okay. That is for instance, this is a mesh okay, consisting of these three branches, this one, this one and that one. Whereas, this is not a mesh. Okay, because inside this loop, you have another loop. So, that is not a mesh. Okay. So, basically it is a loop bounded by branches, but inside that there should be no other branches, no other loops. Okay. So, you can think of uh, the planar circuit as the map of a country and each mesh as one of the states of a country. Okay. So, now with these definitions you see that each branch it belongs to at most two meshes. Okay. Again, redrawing the circuit, let us identify the meshes first. When you have meshes, there is no ambiguity at all. There is only one way to identify the meshes. That is the advantage of this. Okay, I mean that is the simplicity of it. That is why I am going to deal with that. Now, as I said, loop analysis can be carried out in general, but uh, I would not do that in this course. So, there are three meshes here and you can see that for instance, these outside branches, they belong to only one mesh. For instance, this branch belongs only to that mesh. This one belongs only to that one. This one belongs only to that one. Okay. Now, you have this branch which is common to this particular branch is common to this mesh and that mesh. Similarly, this one is common to this one and that one. So, each branch belongs to either a single mesh if it is on the periphery or uh, it can belong to two meshes if it is a boundary between two meshes. Okay. Now, by the way, uh, once you have drawn the circuit, identifying the meshes is unambiguous. Okay, you see each uh, region enclosed by a loop of branches, and that's a mesh. And of course, you just make sure that there are no further loops inside this uh, loop. Okay, but the same circuit can be drawn in uh, different ways. So that still gives you some ambiguity. But once you have drawn the circuit, there is no ambiguity about the meshes. What I mean is. Let me redraw the same circuit in two different ways and also identify the branches. Let me name this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and also 6. And you see that the exact same circuit can be written as that. I'll number them the same. So, now this is 5 and that is 6. The meshes here are these regions which do not contain any other uh, loops. So, there are three meshes consisting of branches 1, 5 and 4. That is this one, then 2, 5 and 3. That is that one 
and 4, 3 and 6 that is that one. Okay. And in this if I identify the meshes, this is how it is going to be and now the meshes will be consisting of branches 1, 2 and 6, 4, 6 and 3 and 2, 5 and 3. So, there are different meshes. Of course, you analyze it using uh, these meshes or those meshes, you will get exactly the same answers, but the intermediate variables that you have used in the circuit will be different. Okay. So, you have to assume that the circuit is given to you in some way uh, already drawn properly as a planar circuit and from that you identify the meshes without changing anything. Okay. That is the definition of a planar circuit and meshes. So, using uh, mesh currents as variables okay, and with nodal analysis we chose node voltages as variables and solve for them. In uh, mesh analysis we will use mesh currents as variables and solve for uh, those variables. From that we will be able to get all the other currents in the branches. We will be able to get the currents in all branches and from that voltages in all branches using element relationships. Okay.